What is going on guys today? We are looking at team of the season, Rafa. The one big thing that I've seen from Liga Nos is there is no Pizzi. I'm, I'm really shocked. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be an SBC just because where's where's Pizzi without Rafa? Come on. 95k. He is the third most expensive Liga Nos player you'll find. He is a four star, three star, and he is now out of fodder for the week, which is fantastic. So pretty much all the Portuguese boards are gone. So we can rest easily knowing that the Portuguese is going to be just wolves basically now. In terms of Rafa, we have whacked a dead eye on him which gives him 95 shooting and 91 passing turn him into a 96 right wing 95 right mid 96 cam as well as a center forward or a 90 striker so his pace is obviously absolutely rapid i'm pretty sure his pace wasn't yeah, his pace, his pace wasn't that bad, to be honest, on his base. His base card had 94 pace. Obviously, we've had a plus 14 on the shooting, 11 passing, 9 dribbling, 5 defending, and 18 physical. So he's had a very good upgrade. Obviously, only going up, well, I would say only, going up 8 overalls. It's fantastic. His dribbling looks absolutely stunning. Shooting, decent, especially with the dead eye. Pace is absolutely brilliant. Obviously, the pass in the long pass, not quite there, but we have got that short game. Great stamina, no real strength and aggression, so I'm expecting him to be quite a fast player. But he is now kind of competing with Waman, who it just came out in SBCs yesterday. So the only thing that Raf has got is the fact he is Portuguese, linking to the likes of Bruno, Ronaldo, Eusebio, obviously icons for the strong link, So he, and Cancelo right back, in fact. So some big boy uh, kind of links you can go with with Rafa. Let's see if he's worth it. We'll get into him see what that four star skills can do and hopefully bag a few goals into rafa what we got we got mendy following i think this one is just gold mendy but to be honest that again still can be enough to really rattle a lot of players oh referee i wanted a heel to heel but it didn't quite pick up seems a little bit unresponsive at the moment let's go with a little a little one two referee Again, you can't just block somebody like that. I'm pretty sure that's that's something. Obstruction, that's what it's called. For the third time, let's give the one to the give and go. Finds him down the wing. He is right footed. That's a great tackle. Very, very lucky that I turned inside, but it's a great tackle nonetheless. Took the risk and it gambled. It did work. Got Rafa going to try and do something different this time. His acceleration is exceptional. Like, literally, as soon as you kind of see that, it's just go, go, go. That is brilliant from him. Little Berber. Okay, Berber spin the other way this time. We go with the curve inside. Oh, Mendy's going to battle him. Honestly, Gold Mendy is still absolutely fantastic in this game. I really don't get how an 83 can stay this good. Back into Rafa. We're really trying to force it now. We're going to maybe have to try and change our tactic at the moment because he's going to know that we're literally just going for Rafa every single time. Into Grimaldo. He's going down the wing a little bit. What can we find? It's just a standard pass. Maybe we go for him again. See what his pace is all about. Okay. I like, I like that turn. It's... It's nice. It's decent for a left back, most definitely. And I think that's what you do kind of find different with a lot of the left backs. Is some, some feel out, 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 some feel agile, but then not necessarily in every scenario. Kind of maybe in terms of a defensive a scenario where defenders are not necessarily known for being incredibly agile. Whereas some of them genuinely feel almost like they could play left mid. And to be honest, most of them probably can with the stats that they possess. Lovely. That's what I want to see from him. You can just see the acceleration. We've got Jones attacking him. Not managing to keep up with the speed. And it's suddenly, it's funny that literally, you can you can kind of see them struggling. And then suddenly, they, they just literally turn on the boosters and manage to carry on. How Raf has kept that, I do not know. Go with the little one-two. Oh, it's not where I wanted it. Raf is now completely offside. Lovely. Get that Berber. Oh, it's not quite got there. Seeing it out. Love to see it. Go with a little one, two. Can we? Oh, we can't find. Oh, no, we can. We can find him. Cortino does manage to, even though we've got to go the whole way back. Let's get the little one, two. Get that pass on the go. It's a lovely ball into Vasquez. Gets that little ball in. And Maradona just heading over the bar. Giving that defensive duty. 
great tackles Kent like it's none other getting that passing on the go you love to see it there it is big ball in makes the keeper go for it and so far two for two crosses very impressed I think if you are looking for a very cheap left back who has the the kind of stats of someone like a like an Alba or someone like a team of the season then you're definitely looking in the right direction for Grimaldo he really can kind of uh, give you them stats that you want he has got like the the juiced increase of pace defending physical it's all very very nice in comparison to his 84 I want to say it's a nice six upgrade Get Vasquez on the move. Find him just a simple pass. Lovely. Very, very boxy kind of dribbling there. Passes it across. Oh, nearly got the good bounce from Jordi Alba's leg there. Straight on the move. That's a great counter. We've got plenty of players in the middle. What can we find from him? going to go back post unfortunately not going to do it Maradona is going to come in Rafa it's beautiful goes for the hammer and it's a great block from Alba literally as soon as you wind it up you have all the space in the world the moment you press B literally every defender flocks to you straight down the wing every single time going to go with that lovely and find Rafa in Go with the left-footed finesse. Not quite. Can't get it back to him. R9 is offside. And again, just breaching past the opponents. Two opponents and beautiful. Rafa, 1-0. You love to see it from him. He is decent and we're trying him in the cam roll at the moment. I like him as a kind of... Is this guy playing? Oh, one of them is. Apparently the second friend is not having any of it. Love it. Love it. Pass it across. What are you doing? Oh, Rafa trying to go for himself. But like I say, in a cam roll, does really well. I think the right mid for him is nice. I just think that there's plenty more options that you can go with in terms of uh, where you can be most effective with him. I feel like one friend wants to play, one friend doesn't by the looks of things. He's gone for the shot, ready to rage quit. Rafa. Lovely. Great finesse outside the box. They did decide they wanted to play on and we've made them pay for it. Can we get a hat trick? The defense has been absolutely split. And it's going to be just a left foot finesse, honestly. Don't know what these two are playing at. But he literally just split the defense in two. Rafa's always going to run in that hole. His pace is absolutely phenomenal. And that's just exactly what he can do. Obviously, in terms of great defending, you won't be able to just run straight through. But that is the possibility that he does have that sort of 98 pace, which pretty much most players um, on kind of like right mid do possess and I don't get one of them beautiful don't get one of them's doing really really stupid tackles the other one's actually trying to defend the question is what are the free kicks saying oh not a lot 99 94 nothing really too heavy there let's just kind of have a little practice with a bit of Cortino straight down green time thank you so going into Rafa's overall review, he is now coming in at 101,000. He's pretty much kind of like fluctuating between the two. Obviously, I think I got him at about 91 and a half, but he is going up and down consistently. And more than likely, as we hit rewards, as we hit kind of like tomorrow for more packs, he will just keep going down basically until obviously these go for the next lightning round, which I believe is Serie A. So Friday, Saturday, they will absolutely hit the floor. If we do look at the end of Super League, we can see that pretty much every single card is just destroyed. I think Biglia at the start of the week was 150, I want to say. So he was quite up there. And literally, Lightning Rounds just absolutely murder these cards. So I can imagine the same is going to be for these. Obviously, this guy looks pretty good. We're going to give him a try. Um, I think tomorrow we're going to go with Oto uh, Otovia. 
next with Pepe. And obviously we have got Grimaldo already out or after after Rafa, basically. So more than likely, Rafa's going to hit probably about 50k by the end of the week if you are looking to get him in your team for a long standard. You obviously have the Portuguese um, guaranteed tomorrow, so potentially there. Obviously, you want one of them top four in that player pack. So in terms of Rafa, what can he do then? We whacked a dead eye on him. He's obviously got the four-star skills. Unfortunately, not a four-star weak foot, which is a bit unfortunate. We have got outside of the foot shop, so there's one tick on the trait. Unfortunately, no finesse or flair, but we can definitely live with that as long as he has one of them shoot him. Pace-wise was phenomenal. Very, very quick on the ball. His acceleration is notice noticeably different in terms of compared to his gold card, which I think we've only used a handful of times due to objectives. But obviously, you're expecting a 98 pace player to be relatively quick. Shooting-wise was decent. I feel like a cam really suited him. I think these trickier players, the, the more agile players, I prefer bringing into the middle as I don't really play right mids as much. I like to play it very central, passing around, moving, dribbling. That is just kind of how I learned to play. I like the dribbling side of stuff, so when he does have that four-star, I'm really happy to see it. Dribbling-wise, like I say, very agile, very quick to move, Decent composure, I'd say. 89 is definitely nothing to be sniffed at. Sniffed or snubbed? I don't know. One of them. But in terms of kind of just the card in general, yes, he's not necessarily the most meta card in the world. But in terms of kind of super sub-like, maybe a bit of, just a bit of fun on the game, I'd definitely say he's worth it. He's going to drop down, like I say, to a very minimum price. So realistically if you can wait till then you are getting the card for literally nothing for 50 60 000 coins a 91 card in your club really really doesn't cost that much whatsoever overall wise i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10 i feel like that's still given a whole percent or a whole rating below 10 and i think he has got quite a bit to improve obviously the strength and aggression would be nice the four star weak foot at the very minimum We've got 89 composure. I can't really pick on that. I feel like I've seen 84 and 80 and not really taken too much off him. But I think they're really the main things. Then maybe just the flair or finesse trait would be nice. So they're just kind of little picky bits. Nothing too major. It's not like his shooting's awful or his passing can't. It is just the specific in-games that I'd like to change. But hopefully you did enjoy the video. Let me know down below what you think about it. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's all for the next one. Peace.